But I, I believe Rob should take a couple of weeks off, uh, let things cool down a bit. Uh, but we're, we're going to be uh, moving him forward, and, and Rob wants to stay focused at the job at hand here. So he's not going to take that advice? No, he's, he wants to uh, stay here, continue working, returning calls, and uh, dealing with city issues. There is so much speculation about your brother, not just there in Toronto, from around the world, people just fascinated by the story that he has a real problem. Uh, your sister and your mother have both come out and said they don't think he has an addiction problem with alcohol or drugs. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, he definitely doesn't have a, a drug problem, as Rob has admitted. Uh, he feels like he's been drinking too much. I, I want to very, be very clear here. Rob doesn't uh, come uh, to work and drink, and uh, he doesn't drink every single day. But he does uh, admit that he has... Uh, uh, excess of, of drinking at, at times and uh, he's getting the, the medical uh, support from a team of doctors and he's also uh, gone on a, on, a, on a pretty steady diet and uh, exercise program so we're, we're confident that uh, he's gonna move forward but no one has ever seen anything like we've witnessed come out of your brother in the last week such erratic behavior right. so much impulse control problems, obviously. Can you not see uh, why people are worried about him, uh, embarrassed about this whole thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was unacceptable and it was, uh, was not appropriate whatsoever, what he said. Uh, he's uh, apologized and got to make sure that that never happens again. And he, uh, I'm sure he'll move forward and make sure he doesn't use that language. At one point, uh, I just, I'm just so curious about the dynamic between uh, you and your brother. You're his fiercest defender. But there have been moments when he really made you look like a fool. Uh, when you were defending him against the crack smoking allegations, going after the, the police commissioner mm -hmm. there, and, and almost simultaneously he was admitting that yes, he had smoked crack. Has there any, ever been a moment where you mm -hmm. two have come to blows, where you've tried to get him to straighten out? Well, you know, you know I, Bill, I, I didn't realize that until he announced it that day. And, and uh, again, I, I believe in life. When, when a family member has an issue, you, you don't throw them underneath the bus. You support them, uh, deal with the issue, move forward. And uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. It's unprecedented that uh, politicians would uh, try to uh, take the powers off the mayor. Number one, uh, morally and legally, uh, they've... they've uh, overstep their bounds and uh, in our opinion legally they can't uh, they can't do that so we're going to be challenging uh, these folks and in, in uh, not not only the courts but the uh, the courts of public opinion